My history started as being born and raised in Seminole, Oklahoma, with very few Jews, maybe five families. We had a Hebrew center. My Jewish education really involved learning Hebrew, but not knowing how to translate it. My background, I'm from New Orleans. My mother's reformed, but my grandparents were Orthodox. So I'd go to temple in the morning in the high holidays, and I have a Kiddush cup that my grandparents used when they got married in 1909. So we use the Kiddush cup for every family occasion. When I came to Houston, we met, we wandered around not knowing where to join, so we went every place we could go for free, and we didn't join. I lost my brother in 1975. And my father was here, and he wanted to say Kaddish. So we wandered into Beth Yishurin, and there was Dave Kaminsky welcoming us with open arms. That was my beginning real experience with Beth Yishurin. And then as soon as we joined, I decided to have an adult bat mitzvah, because the New Orleans girls didn't have them because it was so reformed. So I actually joined the class before I even knew any of the prayers. But it was really an amazing experience. And during that time, my father passed away. And Rabbi Kahana was my teacher. And he just made me feel so good. He said, you know, when someone dies, the best thing you can do to honor their memory is to study something new. It helped the grieving process. I mean, for Dan, it was chapel. For me, it was being in the bat mitzvah class. So that really helped me get through the tough part. To be able to walk in and feel the spirituality, the learning. I love the music, the cantor. Uh, Bessie Sherman became so important. Later on, while we were members and I lost my father, I went to the chapel every day to say Kaddish. Those men were so good to me and became so meaningful to me. You have to keep this place going. You may not realize it when you're young, but when you get our age, you realize how important a place like Beth Yishurin is. So I'm very concerned always that this place will survive, not only for my children, my grandchildren, but everyone else's, and it's a worry. We believe that it's part of the community, but you have to keep a community together. Well, Beth is sure in his home. It's very open and welcoming. You know, the clergy and the staff have been part of our lives, you know, for a long time, and we just, it's home. We're home.